Um, hi, I am Edo Avila. Uh, I am currently a researcher at the Institute of Research on Library Science and Information at National Autonomous University of Mexico. I want to thank the organizing a committee of all the four conference for today's support in the virtual presentation of this work. Um, the following presentation is derived from a collaborative work with uh, Dr. Filiberto Felipe Martinez Arellano, current coordinator of the National Library of Mexico and researcher in the Institute of Research on Library Science and Information. Okay, um, your presentation is titled Link Data Proposal in the Nautilio Catalog of the National Library of Mexico. And uh, it has the goal of to expose in a general way a project for the implementation of link data in Nautilio as well as its repercussion on the necessary organizational challenge, change, uh, the formation of resources and the infrastructure necessary for its development. In this slide, we can see uh, that represents the numerical data uh, of the collections of the National Library of Mexico. Uh, the collections of the National Library of Mexico are made up of documentary, bibliographic, and hemerographic materials from various libraries, both New Hispanic and 19th century, and the information resource obtained through legal deposits. The the National Library of Mexico collections uh, contain data of different types that refer to information resource that represent the intellectual production of Mexico. Uh, this characteristic of the collection gives them a significant value since the data they contain will be very useful to identify links between uh, works, expressions, and manifestations that appear in the context of, of Nautil. Okay, uh, in relation to Nautilus, um, this catalog and uh, contain um, 670,000 bibliographic records corresponding of the National Library of Mexico collections. Um, the records are encoded using the MARC 21 uh, format and structured using the data elements indicated by the RDA. Okay, in this slide, uh, we can see one representation of the concept of work expression and manifestation in Nautilio's bibliographic records. And this representation was developed uh, through a review of the principles of LINET in the RDA and their application in a bibliographic context. Um, the integration of linked data in Nautilo uh, led us to understand the principles of linked data. Um, in this sense, uh, Berners-Lee uh, defined four basic principles for the publication of linked data. Uh, the number one principle indicated use URIs to name and identify the data. Uh, use HTTP so that people can consult and access 
uh, URIs. Uh, when someone searches for IURI, uh, provide useful information using open web standards like RDF and Sparkle. Include links to other URIs to facilitate the link between uh, different data uh, distributed on the web. Here before, a representation of a basic RDF graph. Uh, it is confirmed by three main elements, a subject, a predicate, and an object. Um, after reviewing the application context and the principles of linked data, uh, we proceed uh, to explain the characteristics of your project. Uh, the project has the following object, object types. Uh, number one, implement the principles of linked data in the Nautilo catalog of the National Library of Mexico. Uh, number two, create an interoperable uh, model of linked data for the National Library of Mexico that allows identifying the links between uh, works, expressions, and manifestations that are present in the catalog. And number three, uh, form a method for the uh, visualization and retrieval of information under the logic of the principles of linked data. Okay, uh, the methodology for the implementation of linked data in Nautilus consists of five stages. The number one, analysis of bibliographic records. It consists of identifying uh, the attributes of the data uh, that make up the, uh, the bibliographic records. Identification of authors, themes, titles, and types of information resource to which the registry refers. Uh, this analysis will make it possible to propose a conceptualization uh, of the domain in which the bibliographic data of the National Library of Mexico is found and its way of interacting and uh, using the locking, the, uh, the, the logic, uh, work, expression, manifestation, indicated in resource description and access and library reference model of iCloud. Uh, number two, stage number two, uh, bibliographic data processing. Uh, this stage that consists of the fragmenting the records to obtain uh, pure bibliographic data, uh, data cleansing and data lineage techniques uh, will be applied to, to, to identify inconsistencies um, related to data processing, to data processing and retrofitting. Okay, um, implementation of the principles of linked data. Uh, the structure of the RDF schema uh, will be applied to the bibliographic data. data and a specific URI will be assigned to each of them. Uh, it will be necessary uh, to use an RDF uh, based vocabulary that is compatible with um, library reference model principles to add the semantic additive uh, to the date. In addition, uh, it will be necessary to use HTTP and Sparkle for access and retrieval. And storage in databases focused on graphs. Uh, bibliographic data sets can be loaded into a graph-oriented database. For example, GraphDB and New4j. In these bases, search and retrieval tests will be done using Sparkle and knowledge graphs. Uh, the work expressions and manifestation logic be analyzed in the establishment of links. And the retrieval and visualization uh, 
in this stage, uh, querying linked, linked data uh, reveals through two principles. Uh, number one, using Spark uh, to perform complex queries and identify hidden patterns of interaction between uh, data. These patterns uh, can be identified by analyzing the links. And number two, the visualization of data, uh, the perspective links can be made through uh, to use of knowledge graphs, which allow to discover hidden patterns among data according to the word expression and manifestation logic. And an uh, amplification of the possible links between the bibliographic data available in Nautilo has been developed. Uh, has been developed uh, for these the principles of the LRN model regarding the establishment of relationships between works, expressions, and manifestations have been announced. In addition, uh, the attributes of Nautilo's bibliographic records were uh, studied in order to identify the representation of the entities reflected in LRM. In this slide, we can observe the linking of bibliographic data throughout the use of IFLAR library reference model. Um, this is an experimental trail that allowed use to obtain a comprehensive vision of the conceptual implementation of linked data in a bibliographic domain and your representation in, in a graph. And in this graph, uh, the, function, uh, uh, the function of the graph can be appreciated uh, that allows to visualize uh, the links between the data corresponding to the work uh, the ingenious Hidalgo Don Quixote de la Mancha. Uh, this data, uh, we are, uh, we are uh, located in the uh, bibliographic records belonging to Nautilum, uh, which refer to works, expressions, and uh, uh, manifestations of the abstract representation of the work. Um, I, can be, uh, I can be seen that each link contains an edge uh, that explains its meaning. Uh, this characteristic of the linked data allows you to understand in greater detail and uh, the connections between the data that are part of the catalog. And the application of linked data in Nautilo uh, will allow identifying the bibliographic data and their respective links uh, with other data with similar attributes, in turn uh, allowing identifying informative attributes that are evident uh, through a, a text file retrieval. And, um, this table explains each of the data relationships uh, that have been represented in the previous graph. Okay, um, in this way, uh, the implications of your project are related to a uh, library staff training. He encompasses state training in theoretical and methodological aspects of adapting uh, linked data in the context of libraries, incorporate um, new professionals with solid knowledge bases related to the organization of information and data processing. The resource uh, must apply the new structures for the description and access to the information resource 
through the application of RDA and the knowledge of the LRM IFLA model. Um, the organizational change uh, related to the way of cataloging and describing information resources are false, emphasizing the description and representation and flexibility of bibliographic data uh, to link with other resources on the web. In addition uh, to, to the latent evolution of the catalog and the adoption of URIs that will promote the generation of new methods uh, for the visualization and retrieval of information resources based on data management. Uh, the technological infrastructure um, I will be necessary to adapt technologies related to data processing and lead data. For example, uh, servers with uh, ample storage and processing capacity for a large amount of data. Uh, adaptations of graph-oriented databases, managers, and use of global interoperability standards. The, the aim is to configure a technological architecture that supports the systematization of the, of the data of National Library of Mexico and generation of cataloging policies. Uh, cataloging policies will uh, support the procedures and the use of standards for the creation of the project. These policies must be compatible with linked data principles to promote the interoperable linking of data of a National Library of Mexico with source with similar attributes available in the digital context. Okay, final considerations. Um, the proposal for implement linked data in the National Library of Mexico um, Nautilo Catalog consists of developing a project based on institutional policy. Um, this policy shall include content related to the training of library staff, uh, the exploitation of technological resource, and the adaptation of new flexible models for the organization of Bibliographic data from National Library of Mexico. In this sense, it is considered that these data are of great relevance to void and interoperable model that allows a semantical linking the data that are part of different online catalogs of national libraries. In this sense, uh, the project to be carried out contemplated uh, the generation of a vocabulary based on RDF that allows uh, structuring the, the data uh, to make complex information quiz. In addition, uh, the adaptation of visualization mechanism that allow the user to consult data and their respective links is contemplated. Uh, knowledge graphs are an alternative that complies with these characteristics since their functions can promote navigation and discovery process by means of interactions with data. Uh, finally, uh, the implementation of this project contemplates a facing great challenge, avoiding adversities related to paradigm shifts and the generation of new systems to retrieval and access information in a meaningful way. In this sense, the information professional uh, must take advantage of their previous knowledge and experiences uh, to face this challenge and to dabble in the new methods to organize, organize data with a wide and flexible vision to promote uh, the opening of their collections 
and link them in the digital environment. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Bye.